Sam Smith and Sharon Smith, along with Kenny Rice, back here in Campbellville, Ontario, Canada. A junior free-for-all. This is the sixth race normally in the program here at Mohawk Raceway. And it should be an exciting one. One mile for the Pacers. Keep in mind, this is a five-eighth of a mile track. And it's a little bit different strategy. Taking a look at the post positions for these horses tonight, as the Pacers will be ready to go. This is the only mayor in the race. It'll be Mento J and Reg Gaston, along with Gary Gaston, who is the trainer, are very, very proud and look forward to seeing what this horse can do tonight. She's already won 10 races this year, and, and enjoy your look at her. She's a gray. They're very, they're very, very rare among standard bred. She's a very attractive gray mare. In post position number two will be Spumante. Spumante will be driven by Ted Jacobs. Jacobs uh, hopes to get this horse in front, and it did get a win in one of its last three races. Well, he's one of those horses that you say uh, earns his keep. Spumante is number two. As we look at Minto J, Spumante is the number two in the post parade. I, I guess we like to look at our pretty gray man there. <laughs> there. There's a look at Spumante. He's the son of Most Happy Fellow, one of the great uh, stallions of all time, died uh, just about a year ago and has many, many fine offspring, including this one, Spumante. It's a little bit of a long shot. Post position number three, good luck there, is uh, Pro Fighter and Dave Wall will be in the circle. And this is a horse who also earns his way, earns about $50,000 a year. He is a five-year-old who's been racing quite a while and uh, has a win and a second in his last two outs. Fourth position belongs to Keystone Spectrum. It'll be Trevor Ritchie will be the driver and Ralph Carroll the trainer. And this is a horse who's uh, raced his last two starts here. He knows the track. He was placed. He earned some money. Not uh, one of the top contenders, but should be right there. Keystone Spectrum. Number five in the post parade for the junior free-for-all. Lou Dale Hanover, as you saw some more numbers there on the Spectrum. John Brooks will be driving uh, Lou Dale Hanover. Mike Lombardi is the trainer. And we're still looking at Keystone Spectrum. We'll get a look at Lou Dale Hanover when we can pick him up. Keystone Spectrum uh, is driven by Trevor Ritchie, one of the smaller drivers, 125 pounds. And, and you know, uh, some of the heavier drivers always thought it was okay to be heavy, but the smaller drivers do very well. Lou Del Hanover will be among the favorites. This is a horse who's generally in the money, earned uh, $200,000 last year. This is a good horse. The sixth horse is Armbro Arvo. And this, too, is a horse who earns his way 50000 a year or so in uh, a long racing career so far. And number seven to round out the field as you take a good look at uh, Armbro Arvo there. And again, Robin Moore will be in the back as the trainer. The odds, that's the morning line, by the way. And the 84 best finishing time there, 157 and 1. Number seven, this is the favorite. It's Ed Troop. And Ron Waples, another outstanding driver here in Canada, will be in the bus. Ron is one of the drivers who drives a good deal in Canada, but he does come to the United States quite a lot and drives extremely well there, too. F Troop is a top-quality horse. He won 200,000-plus last year, 55,000 this year. Son of Albatross, who, interestingly, is the highest-priced stallion to get his offspring into the breeder's crown. Albatross, who has a stud fee of $80,000, and uh, is a good stallion. By the way, those pacers will be pacing a little bit on the outside on our post parade, but they'll be in the full light as we'll have the junior free-for-all. Coming your way from Ontario, Canada, you see the odds there of the morning line when we return. This field is now in motion, and there they go. Spamante 
is fourth, Minnow J is fifth, Keystone Spectrum sixth, F2 is seventh, and they turn down the lane. Argo Argo under a drive. Pro Fighter trying to close on the outside, Ludell Hanover. Minnow J away out wide and Spamati coming to the payoff. Armbro Arbo by Freelang. Well, there you have Armbro, a uh, question Armbro Arvo with uh, Robin Moore, the driver trainer. Driving in with the win here in the sixth race at the Mohawk and sharing quite a ride as Armbro kind of held back into the pack. Finally broke out about the half mile mark and uh, raced quite a race here today at Mohawk. Race is a particularly good race because he was forced awfully wide on the final turn of uh, of the race, but he had plenty left and was certainly uh, the best. He was the co-favorite. You, you notice the other co-favorite, F Troop, breaking right at the start, which is extremely rare for Pace. It's very rare for this horse who doesn't have a history of doing it. So uh, Armbro, Arvo's job was made a little bit easier when uh, F Troop, the co-favorite, broke stride. Pacers, uh, although they don't often break stride, are very, very hard to get back on stride once they do. And let's take a look. Uh, Armbro, Arvo, uh, got himself into good position as we'll give his driver credit for doing that after being forced three wide as they uh, entered the final turn and there was Armbro Arvo uh, the driver looks behind nobody's challenging him he's just making sure everything's fine no no need to push this horse he's doing just fine by himself professional racehorse as they call him he knows exactly what to do and he wins comfortably